Hello, YouTube fam. How y'all doing? It's your Uncle Tim. How you doing, Tim? How you feeling? This is Uncle Tim Rants and Reviews, a channel where I do a hell of a lot of ranting and a hell of a lot of reviewing, fam. This is not just a channel. This is a community, a community of collectors talking about things dealing with collecting. Now, first of all, I got to address some elephants in the room, but I want to say thank you for watching. Thank you for all the love and the support. And thank you for all the positive energy. Everyone asks, why do we complain so much? Why do the people in the toy community complain so much? Because in the toy community, the prices have went astronomical from one set price to another price to another price to another price. The prices have gone up. They're skyrocketing. And, you know, people are asking like, hey, why? You know, because, you know, people in other communities are not complaining. You know, the gym shoes, the clothing, uh, you know, um, the electronics. People are complaining in every damn community. They're complaining in every damn community. You just not listening. Everybody's complaining about something. Why? Because you know what? With all the shit closing this year, we're stuck. We're stuck in the damn middle. Wondering if we're going to have jobs. Family dollars closing. Nordstrom Rack is closing. Amazon to laid off or about to lay off 10,000 people. Damn. Do you understand the, the, the logistics behind all of this? Something major must be happening that all of these places are closing. There are other places closing that I have seen. And I had to say, damn, you know, if you go down State Street, down Chicago, it's a lot of stores that are boarded up because, again, they pretty much just walked away from it. You know, it, it, it's at the point now where shit is just too expensive. Now, I know a lot of y'all are talking about, but these are just toys, Unc. You're talking about toys compared to real life. This is real life. We're spending real money, right? So what the hell is this thought process of, you know, real life and real this, real that? You know what? Look, your aunt going to tell you the truth. Now, a lot of people feel that we shouldn't complain. You could should complain about every damn thing. You know what? I was complaining with a congressional group about uh, rent control. I was complaining about the food prices. I want to know what the hell is everybody else doing? They said, Unc, what you doing? I know what I'm doing. What are you doing? Let's keep this shit real. These are toys, yes. But guess what? Toys is a billion dollar industry, just like the damn video games. Just like the Jordans. Guess what? All of this shit right now is so damn high. The Jordan prices went up. And the materials that they're using on the Jordans are not what it used to be. They used to use leather and suede. Now they use a composite material now. I'm trying to figure out, hell, if you switch it, why the hell are we still paying the same price? Oh, uh, well, you know, uh, cows are becoming extinct. Why the hell are we eating cows then? You know, leather is leather, right? What the hell is what? You know... I'm trying to figure out the food prices done skyrocketed. Shit. We just ranting today. People complaining, talking about you shouldn't be complaining. There's so much more to complain about. Don't tell me what the hell I can complain about. I complain about any damn thing I want to. That's the name of the damn channel. A ranting channel. A complaining channel. A person just upset and venting about shit. Why? Because at this holiday season, right before Thanksgiving, I see a lot of people getting laid off. You know what? That affects all of us because I hate to see my brothers and sisters getting laid out. Whether they black, white, Latino, I don't give a damn what color you are. We are all brothers and sisters. So uh, my whole point is, damn, it does affect all of us. It makes you feel some kind of way. When I see people come to the channel and they ran and be like, damn, uh, you know, I'm feeling what you're talking about. I'm hearing what you're talking about. I'm just trying to find out what's really going on. You know, if we're going to talk about just toys in this situation, let's get into it. Toys. The prices are going up again. You know what? And I've been talking to people about cherry picking, uh, grabbing clearance items, sale items, and people are like, why should I grab this? I don't want any of this. You know, these are not the items that I prefer. You know what? Wait till the items that you prefer go down in price instead of grabbing them at a hundred damn dollars. Oh, I grabbed one of those Cobra Vipers for $50. 
Python Patrol, you know, and a Python Patrol bat for physics. Man, I seen all of that. Man, people are offering them to me for 40, 38. Uh, I had somebody offer them to me for 35. Shit, I even thought about jumping at the 35. Hell, I'm not gonna see none of this on a damn shelf nowhere. See, this is the thing that I get upset about. Everybody telling you that you shouldn't pay all of these exorbitant prices. You're not gonna find shit like this on a shelf. You're not gonna really find it on Hasbro Post most of the time because it's all bought up. Even a damn Serpentor going for 129 up until 159. I'm talking about the reasonable prices. The 129 to the 159, they're selling like hotcakes. Why? Because people want them. They missed the opportunity to buy them at a postcon, you know, when it was up. You know, a lot of people missed that. You know, I don't understand how people would say, well, I didn't have no problem, so no one else should have a problem. That ain't how life works. Shit, everybody have problems with different things. I may have problems that you may not have problems with. Or you may have problems with shit I don't have a problem with. I'd be like, man, I wonder why you're going through all that. The bottom line here is shit. We all can rant and complain about every damn thing. When you venting, you are just venting. Shit, I don't feel bad for venting because I know you can feel me with this. You understand where I'm coming from with this. You feel the logic behind this. You understand the pain, the, the suffering behind all this shit because you sitting here like, why are toy collectors complaining so damn much? One, ah shit, if it's on pre-order, you never get it. The shit goes to the shelf first. Then your pre-order get filled like six months later. <laughs> then on top of that, hell, they cancel your order sometimes. So you sitting there stuck as hell. Or the release date for the actual toy get pushed back. So you sitting here feeling some kind of way. Or they raise the damn price. But nobody understand none of that. People make it seem like you sitting here just feeling some kind of way. You know, you just want to cap off every five seconds. No, shit is real. Fred is dead. Everybody understand what's going on right now. You know what? You know, I was feeling like, you know, I was just overdoing it. But I see right now I'm not. People are feeling it. They are feeling it everywhere. They understand the pain that we all are going through. And either community. There are so many damn communities out here from the Jordans, the Nikes, the Yeezys, uh, diecast cars, action figures, Funko Pops, video games, um, small electronics, hell, uh, DVDs, movies. You can name it, fam. It's a lot of stuff going on in all of these communities. And people are getting upset because they're getting railroad. There's not shit on none of them shelves. Soon as the product hit the shelf, it's gone. Either scalpers get it or resellers. And you feeling some kind of way because you sitting here like, man, I've been doing my due diligence. I've been right. You know, I've been feeling some kind of way. And, you know, people are not respecting you as, you know, a consumer, as a customer, as a damn person. It's like when you go into the store sometimes and you meet the wrong people who are employees and they just treat you like shit and you feel in some kind of way, you say, fuck the whole store, fuck what they was made of, fuck they staff and they record crew. You sound like Tupac now. Excuse the language and I apologize. I've been cussing and I'm sorry to all the young people who are watching. And I know it's quite a few of y'all and I want to say, hey, how you doing? Thank you so much. Um, go Chicago Bears. And I know, I know, <laughs> I know. And uh, I apologize, okay? I'm sorry. But... It's just so much, and you feel in some kind of way. And you just sitting here with this look on your face like you defeated. You know, it's bad enough you go on hunts, and, you know, you don't find something sometimes. Something, you don't find nothing sometimes. Then, on top of that, you get treated like shit in the store, and you feeling like, damn. Maybe the best thing for me is to shop online. You know what? This holiday season is going to be the telltale for every damn thing. Why? Because now they got PlayStation 5s in store. Hell, I was at five different damn GameStops, and I found disc versions of all the damn systems in the store. They just didn't have the ones without the disc. I said, ain't that convenient. They raised the price up to like 500 and I'm like, damn, y'all really, really, really pushing that, huh? 
See, that's the thing that I'm looking at. See, the reason why this shit is sitting because nobody care anymore. When they had the opportunity to push these damn units out like hot ass water, and they actually had a stock of them in a damn warehouse that I'm hearing and seeing pictures of, but nobody sent shit out. You could have had all this out and you could have had all that paper. Now people looking at you like, I don't really want to fuck with that. The games ain't really worth anything. You know, I've been better off buying a disc free version. And that way I could just download the games and don't have to worry about all that other stuff for buying this. Because I noticed the games for the PS5 ain't even all that. I'm like, man, y'all releasing garbage. What is going on? You have to know your audience. See, right now we're being punished, look like, for all the shit that everybody else is doing. I'm going to call a spade a spade. What's happening in the toy community? Everybody is tired. Everybody is upset. Everybody feels some kind of way. You know, things that you could buy four or five of, you know, whereas the items went up to $20 and you was like, okay, $20. They went from like $16.99, $14.99 to $20. And you're like, okay, you know, shit goes up and you got to pay. It's real life. Inflation. Prices go up. People got to make money. Got to pay them employees. So you sitting here thinking like, I'm okay with that. So all of a sudden, you're not okay with it no more because they raised the price again. You're like, wait, what is going on? Well, during the pandemic, we hired more people because we're selling more merchandise. Well, that really wasn't a good idea. Maybe you should have gave some of the people overtime because you know after this ends, it may not be like that no more. But no, we're going to do it this way. All of a sudden, didn't listen. Prices went back up. And they start noticing people stop buying that shit. And it was sitting right on the shelf. Now they sitting back hollering and screaming and talking about, yeah, we're going to lower the price. We're going to see what we're going to do. We're going to start putting merchandise on the shelves. We're going to start making stuff, you know, um, during the pre-order date. And when we say we're going to have it, we're going to have it available. Why? You're losing people. You're losing customers. You're losing consumers. You're losing those diehard fans who used to ride with you through it all. Now they looking at it like, eh, I'm good. Eh, I'm okay. Man, right now I'm looking at it like this, fam. I'm okay. You okay. I'm venting because I can. You know what? I'm ranting because I can. Every damn community out here is complaining. The food community. Because, you know, the people who do the food on the damn channels and all of that, they complaining because the food done went up. Hell, the basket and <laughs> weaving community, all of their damn yarn and the basket making material done went up. I was watching this the other day and they were complaining. So if everybody's complaining, why can't we complain? What, because we grow men and we play with toys? I see motherfuckers complaining about sports cars. Hyper sports cars. And they talking about how the prices went up on them. Why are they able to complain? You obviously can um, afford it, so what are you complaining about? We are complaining because $20, $30, $40 could hurt us. We are like loyal, you know, consumers. You know, we like to you know, display our stuff and be here, you know, and all of a sudden you getting slapped and spit in your face like you trash and you getting tired of it. You know what? I stand up and I hold my hand up and said, just like this, enough. Man, you not don't just talk to me any kind of way, do me any kind of way. And this is not hate speech. This is nothing destructive. This is me just saying, I'm tired of all the bullshit. You know, you work all day, you come home, you know, you go to the grocery store, you go to Target or Walmart sometimes, and you go there and you shop and you go check the toy sections and you look at, and people talking crazy to you in the toy section like you don't belong there. Like, what you doing here? What the fuck I'm bad toys? What it looks like? You see, when you sit back and really look at everything, you start saying, hey, it might be better for me to shop online. I'm just saying, you know, people ask me, it's like I'm bipolar. I'm all in one day and I'm all off next day. You know what? That's human nature. One day, everything could be going good. We all know that you could have the greatest day in the world. Next thing you know, somebody in your family passed, everything changes. And I'm real. You lose your damn job. Everything changes. Your apartment burned down. Lord forbid. Every damn thing changes. Changes happen within a damn minute. So I'm telling you, 
Don't look at it like, oh, yeah, he just, oh, he's a Debbie Dumb. No, he's somebody telling you that sometimes shit happens and you just get frustrated. It's real life around here. Man, and I am so turned off by people just saying so much crazy shit, man. You know, I had to turn all that shit off. I had to look at them and be like, man, what are you talking about? Oh, man, you know what? You just be complaining to be complaining. You know what? People complain and they do it low key. They make it seem like, oh, I'm not complaining. But on this channel, I let you know what I'm doing. This is what we do. This is what you're here for. You're not here for me to review no damn merchandise. You're not. I review it every now and then, but there are better channels you can go to do that. Here, we rant. We talk about all that shit you secretly want to talk about. That you tired of these companies. You want to say they suck. You want to say that shit. You know what? $40 is too much for a damn action figure. It is. You know what? I hear about Mayfax and all of these other great figures. They great figures. But they too damn pricey, fam. I can't have all that stuff up in here. Them damn prices is too high. I like to have multiple figures. I can't have multiple figures like that. Uh-uh. If I'm going to go buy all that shit, I'm going to buy a car. <laughs> buy a whole nother car. My wife be like, yeah, that makes sense. I see you bought another car. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Fam, take the wins for where you can get them. See, people are so quick to tell you what ain't a win, what's trash and what's not trash. You don't know what's trash to somebody else. I may like it. But my problem is, why do you have a problem with me liking something? I don't have no problem with anybody not liking something or liking something. That's your journey. That's your issue. But for me, I ain't down with that shit. This is a grand slam rant of all time. Why? Because I'm just telling the truth. There's no lies being told here. There are so many hypocrites in our community that sit here and disrespect you in your face and sit back and say they ain't say a damn word to you. They'll talk to you like y'all friends today and straight up destroy you tomorrow. This is why I say sometimes you can't help people. You got to leave them the hell alone. You know, as far as everything that I've been talking about, you know, I've been slowly, just slowly transitioning into just really trying to check out how I want to do stuff. You know, everything is based on how you want to do it, fam. Don't wait for people to tell you how you should be doing your damn stuff. Man, your situation is your situation. Nobody has no rights to your damn situation. Nobody has any reason to talk about your shit. You know, like I said, at the end of the day, everybody channel here on YouTube, I'm good with it. I know how to stay in my damn lane. A lot of people here don't. You know, they search for material and they jump in your lane and want to attack you. Then when your ass clap back, people ain't ready for that. See, my whole thing is I don't hide. I'm who I am. I'm who I am here and I'm who I am off of here. I'm the same damn person. There's no change in personality. There's no change in this or that. The same damn person you see here is the same damn person you see on the street that will talk to you straight up. But, you know, at the end of the day, fam, I do get irritated by people. I do get irritated by situations. I do get irritated by bullshit because a lot of people I know that's been on bullshit lately, man. You know, um, just real talk. You know, I've been hearing people talking about this, the Pintor, that man bender, and oh man, you just capping. You ain't like, you ain't telling the truth, man. It, it was open for everybody to get. You could have got it. They had it multiple days, and you just wasn't looking. Hell, I was applying multiple days, and guess what? I wasn't able to get it. Then I finally was able to get it, and guess what? You still see everybody else got the shit, and you don't got it. You be in in that last category on May twenty third sometime around there, fam. You know what? I just buy one off of eBay. For hundred and twenty something dollars. I'm good with that. You know what? That was the price I thought I would pay for it. And shit, I'm okay with that price. You know, wasn't in waiting two or three years to get some. Hell, I'm just looking at it like this. You don't owe no damn body nothing. You don't owe, you know, it to anybody to stay in a certain price range with your collection. Buy what the hell you want to buy. Spend your money the way you want to spend it. It's yours. At the end of the day, you know if you crossing the line or not. I can't speak for that. Only you can. And this is why I'm saying, own your shit. That way, nobody else can mess with you about what you're doing. Own it. 
But fam, thank you so much for watching, listening to this damn championship rant. I want to say thank you so much. Till later, peace out. Oh, maybe if I don't see you, happy holidays, okay? Peace.